Hello everyone, this is Dan from Cyber Vigilance, and in this video, this is part two of threat hunting and incident response with Sentinel-1. We will be focusing on Atomic Red Team to emulate tests within the MITRE framework. So we'll come over to... Atomic Red Team is an open source library of simple tests made by a company called Red Canary that every security that every security team can execute to test their controls. Tests are focused, have few dependencies, and are defined in a structured format that can be used by automation frameworks. Red Canary have made their own automation framework called Invoke Atomic Red Team, which is what I'm gonna be using for this test. And as with anything you download, you download this at your own risk. The tests are based on the MITRE attack framework TTPs, which are tactics, techniques, and procedures. Think of these as behaviors of a potential threat actor. Might have a framework to categorize each of these behaviors. Sentinel-1 provides full coverage for MITRE TTPs in threat details and deep visibility. So these are the TTPs that uh, Atomic Red Team covers. Um, the colored tabs chart, uh, the colored tabs on this chart represent the TTPs that Atomic Red Team covers. So we're going to move over to a Sentinel Management Console, go on Sentinels, Policy, and I'm currently in Detect Detect mode. So this means that anything that I, anything that I download, if there's any threats that be picked up in incidents, um, they won't be automatically mitigated and I won't be protected from it. And now I would recommend you do not put this into production at all, um, only for testing purposes, because if you do have it in production, there could be like endpoint infections that you don't want. Um, so I only do it for tests. So I'm going to head over to Incidents tab. As you can see, I've done a past test before, so we'll be replicating this. I'll move over to my Windows VM here. I'm going to um, automatically install um, Invoke Atomic Red Team. Um, I have it loaded into a script. It's just the same as all of these installation um, the installation guide for installing Invoke, Invoke Atomic Red Team. Um, and then after that, we'll have a look at the TT, one of the TTPs that Invoke Atomic Red Team offers. So once the installation is complete, I'm going to choose a test from Atomic Red Team. And I'll we'll, be using T1059001, um, which is based in PowerShell. Um, and specifically, we're going to be focused on Mimi Cats. Um, you will see Bloodhound showing up on the TTPs within um, uh, the threat threat details on Sentinel One, uh, but I'll specifically be focusing on Mimi Cats because there's an interesting interaction that happens within incidents. So to initiate this this test, I am going to quickly copy and paste this to start um, invoke atomic test with um, the prerequisites for this test. And I'll put that there. So before I start this attack, we should look it up on the MITRE attack website. And you can see here, it's a command and scripting interpreter through PowerShell. Um, and you can see all the adversaries, um, APTs and threat actors and hacking groups that use this specific TTP, which I think is really interesting. So you can actually see the real threat behind it. Um, and like with all TTPs, you can look them up through the search bar. So we'll start this test. So the prerequisites have been downloaded. And as you can see, we've already got a notification on our Windows bar th from Sentinel-1 that Mimi Cats has been detected, um, but through the interactive PowerShell um, session. So we'll let, we'll let the actual threats run through now, and then we'll have a look at the incidents um, to respond to the incidents on Sentinel-1 Management Console. So whilst this attack is running, we're gonna, we're gonna have a look at Atomic Red Team on the exact, on the, on the, um, the TTP that we'll be using here. And you can see all the tests that are listed uh, for this TTP. So Mimi Cats at the top here, then you've got Bloodhound and all these different things that should trigger Sentinel-1. 
it should be visible um, in deep visibility and in the threat details. So I'm, I'm going to be focusing on Mimikatz here. So Mimikatz is an LSAS credential dumping tool capable of obtaining plain text, Windows account logins, and passwords with many other features. A threat that this could pose to an enterprise is that there could be lateral movement through an enterprise network, um, gaining a heightened privileges um, through lateral, lateral movement. MITRE have actually documented Mimikatz and the threat actors that are, are used um, in the real world. So you can see, you can see the uh, APTs and threat groups that use this um, tool. So the threat test has finished. Um, so the threat test has finished uh, right here. I'm going to go into the Sentinel One Management Console, and you can see there are three threats um, from this test. So we're going to focus firstly on the PowerShell EXE interactive session. So we're going to click on it, get the drop-down menu, and go into Threat Details. On Threat Details, on the right side of the page, you can see all the threat indicators. Uh, you can also see that AI has considered it as malicious. Um, through dynamic detection, which is all about behavior. Um, so that down the side here, you'll see um, behavior that actually resonates with Mimikatz. Um, so right here, you've got the TTP that we that we chose specifically. You can also see other TTPs that get triggered as well, and that's just because of how of how th the, the actual threats work and run together, because they're all different tools. Um, scroll down here, you can also see Bloodhound. And uh, as I mentioned before, uh, um, LSAS credential dumping, you can see uh, as an info stealer, as the classification, um, you can actually see um, that it attempted to read the information from LSAS. So we can click on these TTPs, bring it into another tab. And as you can see here, there's credential dumping through LSAS memory. Um, and I'm sure if I control F, Mimi, cats, there you go, there's Mimi, cats right there. So yeah, um, go back onto threat details. So this behavior resonates with multiple tools, but it mainly mainly includes Mimikatz. And above the PowerShell EXE, you can actually see Mimikatz, um, or invoke Mimikatz um, with the PowerShell script next to it, or as a file extension. And you can see here that it's actually through Sentinel-1 Cloud, which means a static detection and it's to do with file hash uh, reputation checks. So the actual behavior of Mimikatz was picked up within the PowerShell interactive session, because that's where we ran it. But the actual Mimikatz um, instance itself was picked up by Sentinel-1 as malicious anyway, which I think is very interesting. And it sort of separates the threats for you to see more into more detail. So to mitigate these threats, I'll take down these drop-down menus so it's easy to see. I'll click on all three of these. I'll go to threat, threat actions, mitigation actions. I'll do um, kill to remediate. I don't need to roll back. There's not a whole lot of damage that's been done to my VM because I'll just I'll just revert it back uh, to the I'll just revert it back to the snapshot. So we press true positive. You can add a note here if you like. Press apply. And this is work instantly. Um, but the GUI. And if we go back onto our VM here, go to notifications, you can see that these threats have been mitigated and resolved, um, which I think is quite interesting. So say if someone on your endpoint were to see that everything has been mitigated, they can carry on with their work. Um, so Mimi Cats will take a couple more seconds to vote. They've all been, they've all been updated now. Um, you, you won't have to refresh the page for it to update. It just takes a couple of seconds through the GUI. So the threat gets um, the threat gets quarantined instantly, and um, depending on your and depending on your threat actions, those will happen instantly as well. So in the next video, we'll be going through. So in the next video, we'll be going through a more realistic test using Caldera, which is a tool made by MITRE that also simulates threats, but is more realistic in the sense that it emulates a remote adversary. So obviously, in the atomic test the threats are already loaded onto my machine. However, with Caldera, it's gonna be more like a remote adversary. There's gonna be a hacker loading scripts in 
um and it's got its own gui and everything it's 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 really really good so um so it's more realistic in the sense that it's remote i'll also be showing you how to configure storyline active response or star um, with deep visibility queries using MITRE TTPs. And that sums up Atomic Red Team testing um, with the MITRE attack framework um, through threat hunting and incident response. Thank you for watching.